All right, so we're going to see again that uh, there is an app that we're going to use. Um, so you want to go to your device, and the app is called, if this focuses, the app is called Rabadaba. R-A-B-A-D-A-B-A, -A -A -A, Rabadaba. It's got this little, um, uh, what is that thing? Uh, not a, why do I keep thinking mouse? That's not a mouse. That's um, oh yeah, a rabbit, a rabbit. Uh, so it's a rabbit. What is it called? Rabadaba. R a b a d a b a. So you wanna you wanna find the Rabadaba app on your app store. It's iPhone. It's Android. I think on the web they're just going to tell you go get the app. There's no there's no web version of it just yet. So you um, I already have it downloaded, but I'm going to go to the App Store, uh, App Store, and just going to take a quick look. I'm going to compare the two actually. I'm going to compare two. And Rabadaba, just to just to see what that says. Okay, so Tsu has. Um, let's see. Reviews. It's not saying a star rating for some reason. We have not received enough to rate it. Okay. In any event, that one was the one we talked about last time, and then so today, it's Rabadaba. I think that's how it's pronounced. It could be Rabadaba. R A B. R A B A D A B A. Here we go. So again, you're going to find it in your app store. And then look at reviews. Uh, this one also says, well, current version, I guess a new version just came out. Okay, here we go. If I look at all versions, so it's got uh, really good reviews. 51 reviews. So this is going to be another network that's going to be sort of like a mixture of Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, but the big idea is that then you're going to uh, earn uh, money from the social network. So I already had an account, but I'm going to create a brand new one. So I've got the app downloaded. And so you want to download the app and install it, and then we'll create the account. So here's the network right here. It's Rabadaba. R A B A D A B A. This one doesn't need us uh, any sort of um, invitation like the other one did on sue.co um, you can just create the account and so it's got the rabbit logo vote share post earn so again creating content being active and that sort of thing is going to earn you in this case it's going to earn you a virtual currency uh, I think it's called Rabado you know, Raba Do, D-O-U-G-H, Do, like money. And every 15th of the month, if you're within the threshold, you will be paid. Uh, I believe you, ten, you need 10,000 Raba Do 
Raba bucks, and then that gets converted into ten dollars. So per month, at, at the minimum, if you've got within the threshold, 10,000. But before we get to that, so I'm going to create an account. It asks sign up. There's the terms and service, of course. So I'm going to put in an email. And so, um, adding an email, it'll ask a username, password, first name, last name, etc. Again, you can use it for personal or for business. So you can put in a business name and such, and then there's a spot for adding a profile photo, which you can get from your library, or uh, take a photo. Adding a photo, some branding. Again, the point of doing that, the photo, the logo, etc., is that then you look like a real uh, user instead of a spam user. So I'm going to choose a, a username. This is still really new, so if you're uh, trying to get that username before people, uh, you probably can succeed. So I'm just going to choose a username. Wants a password. What's that? Uh, it says team there. I don't know. Maybe it's for team. No, well, uh, most apps uh, have a rating. <coughs> some apps are for kids, and some are for teens, and some are for adults. So if you're under a certain age, you can't use a certain app. It's just okay. telling you that that's okay. the teens and up, yeah. I'm just filling it in with some information. Get started. So there's going to be a little intro, little sort of intro tutorial. What is Rabadaba? Rabadaba is the world's first social media platform that pays you directly for your content and interactions. Now wait a minute, we talked about Sue. Sue was out first, but I guess these guys say the first that pays you directly for your content. And I don't know what the difference is between this and Sue, because this is actually, in my opinion, still not direct. You're going to be earning these fake Raba bucks, Raba dough first, and then you're going to be able to get paid real money. So anyway, their marketing people are exaggerating, maybe, but um, I'm going to close that and start off you're gonna see um, you know sections home your profile post something search notifications um, on the home screen here I have home main and tags so home is like popular what's everyone looking at talking about posting Can look at main. If I have connections, I'm going to see the content of my connections here. I don't have any, so I don't see anything. And then there's filters by date and all of that stuff. I can also search hashtags, um, subscribe to hashtags, so I can keep seeing certain topics over and over. All of that is happening on the on the home screen, the one with the little house. And people seem to be pretty active because. Uh, you're posting stuff, and you're going to get one Rabado when you comment, when you post. There's a screen here that explains it. When you comment, when you post, etc., you're going to be earning little, little by little. But then when you post something and someone also favorites it or redabs it, which is their term for repost, their term for share, someone shares your post, you earn more. Um, and people can also tip you. So if they see something of yours and they, and they like it, you'll get one. Rob a dough, but they can choose to give you 10 or 20 or 40. And so apparently this guy over here is giving away 5 million. What's that about? What's Ron Burgundy talking about now? Five million dollar Rob giveaway. Let's see. Um, 
What's that? It's not, let's see here. Help spread the word about Rabba Daba and you could win your share of five million. Here's your chance to get creative and tell the world about Rabba Daba. Make a post including spread the word contest showing how you are promoting Rabba Daba to the world. Entries will be judged by the Rabba Daba team. Well, it's from the official Rabba Daba team, so in a sense how you want to define spam, sure, but they're trying to get the word out to get more people to join the network. Everyone knows Twitter, everyone knows Facebook, everyone knows Instagram. Before today, how many of you had heard of this network? Raise your hand. No one's raising their hands. So, um, they're just trying to uh, bring more attention to it. So prizes, one first place, second, and third. Okay, great. Well, I'm going to back up. On this main home screen is where all the popular stuff is happening. There's a welcome button at the top that you should look at at some point. It's just going to be explaining what the network is about. You're going to see there's photos. The photos here are square, like classic Instagram. So when you upload a photo, it'll have you crop it to a square. You'll see the usual buttons, reply, redab, which is a share, favorite, or like, and tip. So if just adding one star to it isn't enough, you can tip and say, this was so cool, I'm going to tip you 10, 10 dabs. So 96 percent, 58. You can also vote. It's not so obvious. There's kind of a lot of ways to interact, which is I think a little weird because you can do, you can do the star to favorite it, but then you can also do upvote, downvote. Which I would think like, why do you need both? But okay. So so far this has earned that amount, 695 rabba dough. It's got like a little R with a rabbit. 122 redabs, 182 favorites, then the text, hashtags, so you'll see hashtags are, ap are active, hashtag dab nation, for example I see this here from Chelsea Day, so yeah it's cool, so then I'll give that, she just earned one Raba dough. I, how many you can give or get? Give, uh, I believe there is. It, I think it's on one of these frequently asked question screens. I think it's something like um, like 60 per day, something like that. So if you're just all day long doing it like that, you're going to reach your limit. But, uh, you know, they don't, they don't want you to spam either. They don't want you to just do favorite, 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 all like that. So I think that's kind of good that they don't let you go overboard. I don't know what the number is, but I think it's between 40 and 60 per day. And we will we can see it on their on their welcome message. Let's say so we're seeing that people are posting different kind of content. Here's just a text content. This one's different. Um, built into the system, you can you can add text like this, kind of looking like a meme. Uh, I don't see that too much on the other networks. Just browsing some content. I'm going to go back. There's a uh, your profile icon down there. The the little person. Oops. The little person right there. So my information. I'm following one automatically, which is the main Rabba Daba team. I don't have any followers yet. I haven't dabbed anything, meaning I haven't posted anything. I haven't used hashtags. And I have two favorites so far. And I've got the post, which I'll do in a moment. Search. A little search box right there. I can search people, dabs, or tags. Let's see, I'm going to search tags. Cats. So here's some uh, recent tags with a particular post. I can also choose from this point right here to follow. So my follow, I can follow hashtags, and that's found over here on my home screen. Let's say what's going on on this one, cats. Let's 
to say I like that, I'm going to give it a favorite. It doesn't seem to be so obvious, but some of these are actually videos. Like this one right here, I had a sense it might have been a video, so I don't, I don't see that it's very obvious, but that's, that one's a video, because if you tap, then you see that it has a play button. That's a video, and then you've got the upvote. So the interface, I think, I, I think this network has a lot of promise. I've been using it a little bit, and, and I'm liking it. People seem to be nice on it and active and stuff. But I kind of see a lot of things about it that are, that are a little bit weird. Like I said, there's like three ways to kind of do the same thing. There's that give it a star, give it, a, give it an upvote, give it a, a tip. And when you're on one kind of interface, like if I'm on the main uh, stream right here, I'm looking at something and I can browse and I like something, so I'll give it a like and I give that one a like, etc., etc. But if you tap on the actual post, it changes the interface for you to focus on a particular item. And let's say I gave that a, an upvote, then the interface changes to horizontal. So then things are just going to fill your screen horizontally like that. If you try to scroll up, those are the comments. This is what I'm saying about the kind of maybe still figuring things out because it, you can scroll up and down at some points, you can scroll side to side at some points, and then also some are not obvious that they're videos until you're actually looking at the, um, the picture full screen. That is a really chubby cat. So let's see. Then you've got notifications down on the bottom right. Those are that's a little carrot. Notifications. This will tell you who followed you, who redabbed you, who commented, etc. What are those arrows for? The one, the red, and the blue. Upvote and downvote. So if you oh. if you like something, you can put the up arrow. And that also earns the person some money. Uh, and then downvoting. Uh, I, I, both a downvote and an upvote earn you the same amount. One, one, one rabbit doe. Uh, one isn't worth more than me. Yeah, they can repost you, and then that will further earn you money because when that goes off to someone else and they like that, you earn the money back yourself. There's a formula that they show in here that you get like 80% uh, of the value of your posts and everyone that shared it and such gets a smaller and smaller percentage. Can you share this on Facebook or no? What is it when they put someone tipped R280 to your dad? Someone, uh, say that again? Someone tipped the little weird R and then it says 280 to your dad. Okay, that little weird R is the is their fake money unit, the rabbit dough. Uh, so they tipped you. They gave you some extra. Instead, one wasn't enough. They were so good that they gave you a little bit more. Because everything that you do, like I've got up here, I've got I've earned so f I've earned, look at that. I'm a high roller. I've got five so far. I've earned five rabbit rabbit dough. You can see how much you're earning on your account right there. Uh, what was your question, Pablo? Uh, is this allowed to post on Facebook, or they also disallow it? This one, so far, I don't believe they've disallowed it. It's pretty new. Um, but I don't see, from the network, a way to automatically share over there. I'll check that in a moment. But um, you can still share into Facebook. Is the owner of this like an Indian or something from India? <laughs> no, because sometimes they're not from this country, you know, they, they create stuff. I, I don't know. We could go look over here under settings. I mean, under your account, you can go up to the top left settings there, and there'll probably be some about right there about Rabba Dabba. So there's that. So who's managing the money that they deposit onto your account? 
who's managing it. Um, the whole system itself, it's, it's a computer algorithm. It's computer code that is managing everything that is, this got, this got a tip, this one got a reshare, this one, this, this and that. So it's all kind of automatic. And then, uh, and the fifth, I believe it's either the 15th or the 10th of the month, then the computer checks everything, and then you get your money deposited. So it's kind of automatic to a degree. If you do want to earn from the system, and the point that I'm showing you about this is that that might be useful, earn a little money off of this, you have to first activate that. So whatever you're doing, let's do this so that, so that you don't uh, lose out. Go to your profile, your profile icon, the little man right there, click on that, and then on the top left you will see three, three lines, click on the three lines, they're gonna give it to you through PayPal oh. so that's how you're gonna get paid you need a PayPal account which are free so when you're in this setting here this screen then it says payment settings you click on that and then you enter your PayPal address and then you're gonna say okay I wanna earn at least ten dollars and then transfer that money to my PayPal account and it shows that one Rabado is equal to 0 0.0001 dollars. Translation, 10,000 Rabado equals 10 dollars. You know, 1,000 Rabado equals 1 dollar. But you need to have at least 10 dollars for them to start paying you, which is 10,000 Rabado. And you'll be able to see how much you have on your profile. But in order to get paid, you need a PayPal account. Uh, I'm not going to go into how to create one of those. It's easy. Just go to paypal.com, create an account. That's it. And then you'll start getting money into that. How many of you already have a PayPal account? If you don't, it's... Yes. You have one? Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, so you just want to add your PayPal address there, and then you'll start to collect. I tried to go to both three things, and we do not have any Going to which one? To those three lines that you tell me to activate the settings? No, uh, if, you, if you go to... Yeah, mine also says it. You don't have any dabs. But did you click on the three lines at the top? Oh, no. So that's when you get more settings right there, the menu. Um, you can edit your profile, payment settings, transaction history, account history, terms, privacy, support, log out. So this is another one where, let's say you want to manage multiple accounts. There's no multiple account thing at the moment. There's log out and then log into the other account. We can upload photo, video, audio, and text. How do I earn? Uh, you earn Rabado, Rabadabado, by voting, redabbing, posting, and flagging inappropriate content. So if people are posting nasty stuff, you can report them, and that also earns you. So posting, redabbing, voting, and flagging. They all earn you one, and then it's okay. How much do I earn? So voting earns you one, redabbing one, creating a new dab earns you one, flagging earns you one. It says if you find content that you think violates our terms, then you can flag that content so our moderators can remove it, and then you'll receive the dough. You can't just go to everyone's and say, you know flag that one, flag that one, flag that one. They have to check it and approve it. There's home page, main feed, tags, etc. Tips. If you see a post that you feel deserves more Rabado than, your, than one vote, you can tip them directly. This is a great tool for charities and crowdfunding. And your payments. Payments are made via PayPal on the 15th of each month. You must set a payout minimum in the payment settings. So today's already the 18th, but for next month, if you've managed to accumulate at least 10,000 and you've set your PayPal account, you get 10 bucks in your PayPal account. 
so back on that home screen, people are putting all of these sorts of contests or um, you know challenges for you to do, and the point is to create stuff, put posts and, and all of that to, uh, to get some fame. So I'm going to look at, I'm going to click the plus, and I can add text, photo, audio, or video so over on text. Type some text. I'm going to post that. I'm going to dab that. So now I've got a new post. Whenever I dab something, it tells me how much it has earned me, my votes, and percentage of positivity. So that's what I posted. It looks like that. Put a hashtag in it, emoji, and I'm on my way to riches. I can also post to add a photo from the library or take a photo. I'm going to take that photo. I've added a photo, I can add a title and a description that's very similar to Sue actually. There was a spot for a title and description on Sue.co. They have sort of similar thing. Here they let you write 30 characters for a title and a thousand up to up to a thousand for the description and you can use hashtags. I'm gonna write here title school. Share that. Now I've posted a couple of things. And just like all the other networks we talked about, it's not always about me, 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 look at my thing, look at my post, look at my video, etc. You are also going to interact. You're going to go to the home screen, the home feed and look at the different screens, the popular, the tags. You're going to comment on people's stuff, not only because you know it's nice, but you're earning from that also. Every time you comment, every time you tip, or you um, give a like or redab, that helps your um, that helps your money also, your values. And so see, I've been using it just as long as this recording. I've even using it 28 minutes. In the corner here, I've already got two notifications. You might have more. So the more you use it, the more notifications you have. Um, this is a little quirk that I've seen. I, I saw that it showed me at the bottom I had two notifications. I went to the screen and said, no notifications. Well, you have to pull down sometimes from the top to refresh it, and then it shows up there. So I have this guy following me, this other guy favorited uh, my items here, so that's also helping me earn. Go back to my profile here. I've already got six. High roller. So this is the other network I wanted to mention. This this one and, and Sue.co are very unique in that um, they're, they're pretty new. I don't think they're ever going to take over as much as Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, etc. But who knows? And the very unique thing about it is you earn from your own content, where every other network is using you. You know, hate to be cynical, but every other net on every other network, you're the product. Your posts, your tweets, your Facebook messages, all of that stuff, that's in the service to those networks. They're earning off of you. Those ads that they put on there and people click or you click, 
they're earning from that. But these two networks are very unique in that, yeah, they're going to have advertising and that sort of thing, but at least you're going to be earning between 70 and 80 percent of the value of that content. I teach a class on app development, and when you make your own app, and you put it up on Google Play or Amazon App Store or iTunes, they take 70 percent of I'm sorry, they take 30% of your, of your profit. So those 99 cents apps that you buy, the person or the company that created it gets about 70 cents out of that every dollar that you spend. And here, um, similar, but you know, you're not making an app, you're just posting cool or interesting stuff, and then hopefully it's earning you a little bit here and there. And this is um, just, you know, being, being active and being fun on a social network. Maybe you'll get you, maybe you'll get social media famous. How many Vine celebrities are out there? How many YouTube celebrities out there? Twitter celebrities? And they make money. They make real money. Um, so I, I wanted to bring this network to your attention. There's no homework for this one. There's no homework for Sue.co either, and we're not going to do a homework for, um, for Snapchat. I just wanted to show you those three networks because, uh, again, there's other ways to reach an audience. Um, I sent out an email earlier saying that next week we're going to start looking at uh, WordPress because we have all of this experience in all of these networks. We're not pros yet, but we've got experience. And usually we use these networks as a form of getting the word out, going viral, getting attention, you know, marketing and promoting and such. And usually what we're doing is we're promoting some kind of website because on, on like 99% of these networks, Twitter, Facebook, etc., etc., you cannot uh, you cannot sell your product, you cannot sell your services, you cannot get subscribers to your newsletter, you cannot get donations to your nonprofit organization. Whatever you're trying to do online, it's just a form of marketing. To actually do that stuff, you need a website. And so we're going to talk about WordPress next week. Uh, our basic intro to WordPress. We have other classes at Southwestern where we learn much more about web design and such. But we'll be able to create a website for free, a very powerful one, starting next time, and then we'll have homework and such on that. But these three last networks that I talked about, no homework. Just use them and learn them and have fun and get good at them and get paid. So any general questions? All right, so that's it for the moment. We'll have some lab time if you want it. I sent out the email about homework assignments. If you are missing any homework assignment grades, send me the email. The fastest way is just send me another email, and um, I'll grade it. So thanks for coming, and we'll do it again next time.